today on 11th Gorgeous. It's alive! What is that? That's crazy! Finally perfected it! Yes! <laughs> I just threw this. That's not nice to do with your favorites. Okay, so we toned it down just a smidgen. Just a smidgen. We can't we can't abandon all. Let us know what a happy medium is for you guys. Yeah. We could, you know, go, hey guys. Hey guys. Or oh, wait, we could one person wanted, hey girls. Hey girls. <laughs> We're still perfecting it. You know, yeah. sometimes we get a little too excited, it gets a little crazy up in here. But we're excited to film for you guys. So, you know, it's just it's a good us. thing. But anyway, today we're doing our favorites. We are. February is over. It's sad. But there's lots of things coming up like March and April that are filled with fun trips. And it's just almost spring, which is happier because the winter months make you sad. Even though tomorrow, not tomorrow, Saturday? Yeah, tomorrow for you guys. It's going to possibly snow here. What is that? That's crazy. I'll just kick off this month's favorites with a bunch of lippies that I've been loving. Yeah, but we're lip connoisseurs. Let me tell you, when we were organizing our makeup, yours and mine, I'm like, yeah. holy lip products. Can we concentrate on something else for a while? Hopefully, this next week or so, we're going to be having both our updated makeup collections as well as a filming room tour. And an office tour, you know. Yeah. So, we'll be get excited. Get excited. Thumbs up if you're excited to see those makeup collections because I know I love watching them. Have you ever done a makeup collection? Tracy's never done a makeup collection. She's because making her debut. In four years, I have been trying to get it perfect. And I feel like I've finally, finally perfected it. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's like Dr. Frankenstein. Yeah. <laughs> it's alive. Okay, these are all drugstore products. And this is what I was wearing in a most recent video that was CoverGirl Foundation Routine. <laughs> and it's Revlon Coral Berry. Love it. Just, I mean, it is what it says. It's like a... The whole Revlon line of lipsticks like that is amazing. You, you can't go wrong. It's a good starting point for people that are just starting. And you can see through the cap to know if it's a cream of frost or something else like that. Yep. Baby lips, need I say more. You can't go wrong with those. And we have a whole review on them. Yes, we do. So, this is... is that a good one? Coral Crush. And then this is the Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Stick in Bright Berry. And I was wearing this in a video, and you guys also said you loved it. Which, P.S., we've been putting our makeup, or trying to put our makeup looks... Down below. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So... <coughs> Don't die. My world is ending. Don't die. <coughs> you seem to die. Tickle. <coughs> Molly's gonna help me. I'm just concerned. I'm just concerned. Yeah, we have all of our makeup looks from, I mean, lip to cheek, Nails. everything. Everything down there. Don't forget that. Yes. Long the line of lippies. I have a favorite lippy this month, and it is the I'm gonna say Victoria's Secret, but it's Bath and Body Works Liplicious Best Kiss. And it's the little pack that we got, it's a trio, and it goes from sheer to pink. And I'm wearing it right now. And I love it because it tastes like bakeriness. It's not like cupcake, it's not like cookies, it's just a bakery food smell. So I love this. It's not too sticky. And they have different shades in it, like a corally one mm -hmm. and is that but the I original? Think, yeah, this is the only one that you can buy individually. Yeah. The other two were like special editions, so unless you get the kit, the kit, like this, then you'll be missing out on a coral and a berry, which actually berry is my favorite. So, you yeah. But they're all good colors. They're very good. They're very good. I love them all. In that we have been getting our makeup collections prepared, I kind of started branching out into some of my other makeup brushes that I have, and we got a Borghese set from Costco. I think I thought it was the Kirkland brush set that everyone gets excited about from Costco. <laughs> and it says, hello, Mohawk. And it says, hello. hello. And I just wanted to be into veggie out today. I'm just good buddy. Oh. Oh, that's cuddle bunny. It's thumbs up. Oh, you want to play with the makeup? You can't have them. Oh, okay. So I'm not sure. <laughs> so I'm not sure if you can pick up these Borghese brush sets from Kirkland's anymore. If you can, I'll put a link down below. Or if there are any other. <laughs> <laughs> it's my makeup, Moe. <laughs> he wants the makeup so bad. He thinks it smells good. So <laughs> if there are any places where you can find the Borghese brush sets. I'll put it down in the down under bar, and then if you guys know of any. But these have just been really good. This is the dual fiber. I've been using it for blush. And then I think Stephanie used this one in How Not to Wear Makeup. I think she did. I mean, I think. 
I usually do wear that color on an everyday basis. <laughs> you guys haven't seen that video. It was pretty funny. Well, it's funny. Oh. Speaking of blush, <laughs> on the end of a blush brush, I have been loving MAC Blush Baby. Thank you, Tracy. You're welcome. that's why I've been loving it. Hey, it's from our friend Luke, who works at our MAC counter, and it was one of his favorite colors, and he was like, yeah. you need this, and I was like, I'll believe you, and I'll buy it. And she got it a long time ago, yeah. because I feel like it was one of the first ones that you got from, like, back in your apartment. Yeah. It was and I never of, got it. Yeah. It was back in my apartment. So I couldn't understand why, and I made it change, and I'm wearing it today, and it's, it's such a good one when you're not feeling, like, bold. Yeah. You just want a little color. I think color. it's a good neutral option option that kind of will go with any look, any lip or eye look. Cue Bucky. And Mommy's gonna bark. <laughs> okay, so these next products are products that we have both been enjoying. It is from our Birch Box. We got it. It's the Beauty Protector, Protect and Detangle Leave-In Conditioner, but it also does things like it's a thermal protector, it seals cuticles, smooths your hair, locks in color, adds shine, weightless on greasy conditions for all hair types and you can use it every day and it smells really good. So... Wait, I can't even know what it smells like. It just smells good. Good. It just smells like hair product. Makes me think of salon smells that I like. Yeah. Not bad chemically. We gotta get a full size. I'm gonna run, be running low on it yeah, soon. Yeah, me too. So this next one is a, it's a something we got from a sample as well when we went to the Belk Spring like fashion preview thing. They handed out little swag bags and this is the Christian Dior. Dior Show Brow Styler. And if you, if you know us, we really don't use Chanel or Dior or anything like that. And this is a, well, there it goes. <laughs> it is a brow pencil and it's got a teeny little tiny little stick there that rolls up. And then once you put that in your brow, you can use the little spoolie. spoolie. And so it's not to say that just this is a good brow pencil, but I think in general, I have never really used a brow pencil. Yeah. And so I've been turned on to using a brow pencil this month and she has one and likes it as well. Yeah, so. she actually was like, oh my gosh, I've been using the thing we got in our belt bag and you should totally check it out. And so I did and I actually wore it in the CoverGirl demo video and everyone's like, oh my gosh, Tracy, you look different today. What is it? And I think it's because I've been skipping the brows for a little bit and then I went back and used that. Yeah. So I really think, and I have it on today too. So I really think that it's, yeah. and it's like, oh, I don't want to love a high-end product. I know, I know. That's why I'm saying like, maybe it's just pencils in general or Pencils in general that I'm liking, and this just happened because I've never really used a You'll brow pencil. You'll have to try my Anastasia one that I have and see if it. Yes, yeah. which is a little expensive too, but I got it in an Ulta kit that also came with like gel yeah. and a highlight thing. So it was like thirty dollars for three products. So that's not so. Bad. I have no idea how much this is, but I'm gonna guesstimate at least twenty bucks. Let me, let me Google. I'm gonna guess it's like thirty. I said twenty nine. In my mind, I'm thinking twenty five. Also twenty twenty five. Brow styler. Yeah. Twenty nine dollars. So it's like I thought thirty bucks. Twenty nine dollars, guys. But we can tell you honestly that, honestly, I, I probably won't repurchase it, not for $30, unless I try others and just absolutely cannot find something like this, Comparable. which I think I will find something. Finally, we just did a review on this, mm -hmm. and this is another joint favorite. It is the CoverGirl Outlast Day Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation Plus in Zulu Sunscreen Foundation, and we have been wearing it every day for like... Two months? Yeah, if you want to see months. how we apply it, we'll have that video where it was mm -hmm. like the most recent one we did. We'll have it linked at the end. But a lot of you guys have been asking, like, I don't think it's good for photography because it has a high SPF. Yeah. So, but I mean, for the most part, it has replaced our color stay. Mm -hmm. so. I haven't reached my color stay in two months. I can yeah. honestly say that. I think when we went to IMATS we used our color stay because we knew we would take a lot of pictures. Of okay, yeah, 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 we did do that. So but that for every was... day wear I haven't reached for it. And in fact, I've tried, like I said, I think in the review video, I think I've tried like Laura Mercier and stuff and I've still picked this up. Yeah, it's a good so. foundation. I think it looks really great on us. I know that we have tried some over the past couple months just here and there. And I feel like it's the one that looks the most natural, yeah. even like this close up. Yeah. Future video, we are going to do the Revlon Nearly Naked, I think, yes. because we do have it. We just haven't really, I think I put it on one time. That's how much I like, yeah. wasn't shocked by it. But I think I tried this one time and didn't care for it. And the more I started using it, I realized that I was liking it. So I think it takes more than one time yeah, to really know about a product. If you guys would like to see that, just leave us a comment. Yeah. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Yes, and you can leave us all comments you want down below telling us which your monthly favorites were, as well as video responses. And we will talk to all of you guys in our next video. Wish our well. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.